I think the easiest way of explaining it is that the world is going through an upgrade where we're going to go from a split system to a unified system. Right now we have two systems. We have the developed world system and we have the developing world system. The developed world system has banks, insurance, credit, identity. You can do business online. You can build trust, manage risk, and grow wealth. And any person born in a developed world country, if they work hard, have a good chance of getting to the point where they can retire and have a good life. A life with food, water, shelter, and the ability to pursue things that make them happy, and have enough left over that when they become weak and vulnerable, their savings can take care of them. When you look at the developing world, through no fault of their own, they live in a system where wealth creation is very difficult, and even if you have some, you can't insure it or hedge it, and in the event something happens like a war or a natural disaster, it can cause people to lose everything. But the world is upgrading so that we can have a unified system where all 7 billion people can live under one financial operating system. So that your identity is interoperable and universal. You can get a loan no matter who you are, no matter where you are. You can get insurance, you can do business with anyone in the world in a friction-free way. The point of Cardano is to acknowledge that this must be done with principles. This means pushing power to the edges and putting you in charge of your own money, your identity, and your voice with governance. So that when we get to that universal system, we can get there with an open, decentralized, principled system that can't be co-opted and is highly resilient to people trying to tamper with it. So that the richest people in the world use the same system as the poorest people in the world, and both of those people will have a better system than the one that came before it. That's what Cardano is trying to accomplish.